Hi guys, welcome to another video on this game called Stories The Path of Destinies. Like I promised, this is the second video I'm going to share with you um, some tips or guides on how to spec your character so that you can have an easier time to level up. Now I've created the first episode of this game uh, on the gameplay a little bit like my thought about it as well. Uh, so this is the second episode. The third episode is going to be a uh, spoiler because I would like to just share the ending of it. So um, if you like to play this game, haven't sort of like you know completed the game yet, don't watch that one but uh, this one is for you if you're leveling all right so now um, there are a couple of things that you need to pay attention to when you start a character because every time you know you you, you make a decision uh, you know you go through a story again and you get more XP you get better gear and then you level up as well so it is very important to sort of like make the right decision early uh, so as to um, make your gameplay a lot smoother. Now, the entire build uh, have a couple of components to it, and I'd like to walk through with you my thoughts and which one is actually the one that I would use and some of the regrets I may have right now. Uh, I think given time, you should be able to unlock everything, uh, but the order of unlocking, I think, matters as well. But let's just have a review overview on what this whole thing is about. All right, so now, uh, the first column is on hook. So the hook is uh, the first thing is that uh, you can use the hook to navigate across the gaps and pull enemy uh, you know I'm using a controller so I press the you know the button up button to, to get it so that that's kind of nice uh, you, you have got to have it because otherwise you can't even navigate across the uh, area you get stuck right so uh, that's no brainer the first one is important uh, then after that uh, you could also use a hook to pull a shield away from the enemy because uh, enemy with the shield you are not able to damage them at all uh, unless you are using magic and stuff like that so uh, I find it very useful for this one you could however use a dam uh, to augment your golet and to do the same thing but I kind of like the fact that I can control when to do that kind of thing and use a dam to do something more useful like click chance or so on uh, you could also you know if you really like the hook kind of like a gameplay when you hook the enemy you could actually damage them as well uh, depending on how much damage you like three ranks you get a 15 and once you've done that the last one is that uh, you can actually increase the overall speed of the hook shot so your hook can go faster and the uh, and, and the damage as well now uh, from a leveling perspective, I would not recommend this tool unless you really like the hook build because I find it a little bit hard to aim with the hook. Uh, I can't even get sometimes, uh, you know, get, get it to the right direction, uh, you know. But if you are very good at aiming uh, and you like the hook kind of thing, I mean, this is for you. I personally think that stop at here is good enough because it will give me an opportunity to take down the shield if I need to and that's all for me. Now, I personally like dash a lot because um, as you move around the map, uh, dashing is make it a lot faster. So that's really kind of no-brainer for me. So uh, dash is something that you have to use anyway uh, for even one point. It kind of help you to uh, escape some of this nasty situation as well. And the second one is that uh, when you dash, you can dash through the enemy and deal damage. Now, I do, I do movement build, so I like to just dash around and kill things. You know, is it your cup of tea or not? It depends because some don't like the kind of like movement around. I like to kill things faster and I don't like to like, you know, like moving around and aim to, to hook it or whatever it is. So this one works fantastic for me. The only problem is that, uh, you know, if you target an enemy which will explode, uh, you've seen it in the first episode when I target it there, uh, you end up actually staying there um, and, and you, you get hit by the explosion sometimes. So just a little bit, a little bit of awareness and also if you play Mars Effect 2 last time the Vanguard you know remember that you actually dash into the enemy and deal damage very much like that uh, then this is even more fantastic because uh, with the dash and if the arm enemy uses a shield you can't dash through them you actually reflect you hit it and then after that you got stunned uh, so with this it kind of very very nice but the beauty of it is not really about this shield thingy it's the last one which is stun um, so if I dash and you stun the enemy for two seconds, one or two seconds. That's pretty nice and insane. Uh, kind of like a, 
you know, control here and there. So it make it a lot easier if you have a lot of enemies around you. Uh, I find it very good for survivability and very nice to just go around the map very fast. So that is my cup of tea. Now the next bit is the combo. And now the combo is that um, if you able to land a perfect strike, uh, then you know, uh, attack immediately. Uh, sorry, attack immediately when the previous that uh, previous attack. Uh, to land a perfect strike. So sometimes you see that uh, you get a perfect strike somewhere uh, on the screen and that is when the uh, you know the bonus and, and kind of like a double bonus kind of like a points here. Uh, it is alright, I think one point is fine. You know, um, looking back, I may not even put one point here to think about. I mean, uh, you know, because I don't really see a lot of perfect attack, uh, perfect strike for me. But uh, if you like the combo kind of build, because you could actually say, um, you know, attack enemy at any distance, auto activate when reaching a certain combo. So if you see the meter there, uh, you can see that you, as you hit, you go up the combo. I think combo point 10 is easy. 20, not many groups will give 20. I mean, it's, I've seen 20, but beyond 30 is kind of a little bit hard because sometimes you do, you cannot maintain the combo for whatever reason or just the mob or dead so you can't really do combo so i sort of like think through it and i don't really see whether you know i i want to go for like kill any enemy in a single strike and stuff like that um so so things like this i mean if you are really into combo it's kind of nice i my advice is that i think one point is good enough to, to just in case you get a perfect strike then you get a bonus damage or double bonus uh, combo point and stuff like that but uh this is not really something that i would recommend too much during the leveling. Uh, the next one is very nice. It's a, it's a time kind of thing. So uh, slow down time after a successful counter until your next action. So um, I, I think I go for the effect more, to be honest, because you can see that the battle that you see the first episode, suddenly things go a little bit slower. Uh, but the next one is uh, very nice because, um, you know, it's like you can slow down time after a successful attack until your next action. Uh, so it is really kind of like you can see things like just freezes kind of thing and the last one is that you can actually freeze time um, if, if you counter attack so sometimes you know you do counter attack quite a fair bit uh, but I find it very very useful the time thing so I would fully recommend take all the points here uh, from a comeback point of view is that uh, you know you you know, you, you do a lot of counter attack, that's true, because you can just hold one of the key and then press a button up and after that you can counter attack, which is very bread and butter because you do get attacked quite a fair bit. Um, so I think I think it's kind of important in some sense. Now this one, I don't really grab enemies. So I think looking back, uh, this is the point that I probably wouldn't want to put into. So I, uh, I, I wouldn't want to do a do this one here to be honest i don't think i need it need that this one because i don't really grab a lot of enemy it takes time to grab them uh you need to press and hold a certain button and then press onto you and after that you can use the enemy to block attack or throw it to another enemy it's just a bit slow i'm sure it works but it doesn't work for me uh then this one is that when you throw or kick then it become a high distance like i said i mean i'm i'm not really into the car throw thingy uh but the but this one is nice. Uh, recover from being hit almost instantly and attacker is knocked down. So, you know, the, because sometimes you do, you, you do, you do, you do get stunned, uh, you know, or get hit quite a fair bit. So this is very nice for you to recover from it. So I, I recommend, uh, looking back, I think I'll do this one, but definitely not this one. This one, maybe, may not. I probably wouldn't really worry about the combat side of it. So. Yep, so that is, uh, that, that is how I feel. So the first five columns, I mean, like I said, uh, I think, you know, just to recap, the hook is something that I'll do two points to it, like until here. Dash is something that I'll do in totality. Uh, combo, mm, I mean, just for fun. Time, definitely, yes, it's, it's, it's very high priority. Uh, Combat-wise, the last one is very important. Uh, the, this, this two, this two, I don't really like the gameplay of it. Uh, this one, you know, up to you, one point or two point, three point. Uh, that is, you know, depend on how much you counter attack. Uh, step wise, though, uh, I don't really use it until very late game. Uh, why? Because I don't really feel the need to uh, do that. But I think it's kind of nice uh, because every time you failed uh, in a battle, 
you are being resurrected uh, with uh, with half the health and also uh, half the energy. So if you have uh, a higher health, then you know naturally you get more out from it. So I think it's nice. Uh, but like I said, I mean you know I I don't really feel the need to have this one until the very late game is just for fun but i think if you find that yourself struggling with uh, survivability you know i think one point here is nice and do the energy as well because um i find that uh, once i get to the late late game, mid game i use a lot of energy uh for my gameplay so this one go hand in hand in totem together uh, so yeah so that is one that you could consider doing but it's not something that you must do uh, depends on how comfortable you are in your combat uh, next one is kind of nice as well is increase the speed so uh, as, as you play longer I mean you feel that you're doing the same content again again and again but then because if you can run faster like 100% speed that's very nice so it is something that I would recommend in the late game when you have Got all the damage that you need, all the utility that you need, then you go for the uh, the, the speed of it. Uh, as for the stamina, this one I got it quite early because I'm using a dash build, right? So I'm using a dash build here, and dash build require the uh, the stamina. So you know, so this one I get very early. I I, I put two points to it, no regret. Uh, so I highly recommend. But do you need to have another two points to the stamina? I don't really think so. I think you know this is good enough. This is for late game, all right? So now I hope that gives you some kind of idea. Um, you know what you want to do with the if you can play. So do decide whether you like the hook bill or dash bill or combo bill or combat bill. And uh, once you've decided on that, just build on that kind of like you know uh, build until the very end because you know it is only like towards the end that really matters so uh, i hope you find this video useful as far as the uh you know the sword before uh you know you you, you gather core as well as the essence as you unlock them uh but because of all is being shared among all the uh, sword so uh you you rank one is to unlock it rank two is to make it awesome uh, very beautiful but uh so i would say try to unlock all of them first because you know, some door won't be open until you matches the color. Uh, but after you've done that, I feel that the green one is the first sword that you should level up to rank two because it heals you. Uh, the heal is very important, I think. Um, and then after that, you could actually use uh, either a fire or ice. But I find that the ice would actually be a better option for uh, crowd control. Uh, be just because it freezes kind of target. So I find that I use only two. One is the heal, the other one is the ice. But it's up to you. If you want to have the fire instead of ice, you can do that too. So, you know, I so like I said, because the ores are common, uh, so the order of your ranking up to level two matters. So do make that decision based on what you feel comfortable with. I would say ice and uh, heal is all you need. Um, then, the you know, is this the good one? The purple one is to buff your attack speed. I found that you know I, I need the AOE uh, area of damage uh, area of effect, so I don't really find that uh, getting the the uh, the sword this uh, is you know getting this one. I don't really use this one that much. All right. So now um, as far as them wise, there are quite a number of gems out there. I uh, just apply common knowledge. Like uh, I think the crit is uh, is nice. Um, you know the energy on kill is nice as well, which is what I use. Um, you know you could do attack speed as well. There are other things like shield breaker. I mean because I use a hook to to take down a shield, I don't find that I need to put a shield breaker there. There's some there's one on treasure hunter as well, which give you better loot. But seriously, I don't really have problem with loot in this game. Uh, there are other things like uh, you know elemental resist as well as physical resist. I don't think it's really that useful. I mean you know if you can avoid encounter counter attack all these comp opponents that you have you probably wouldn't you know it wouldn't give you any problem but if you don't then anyhow even the resistance won't save you um and yeah i think i think that is about it um yeah so i hope uh, you you kind of like find this uh, video useful uh, as always i mean you know do drop me a comment in in the box below i'll try to answer and enjoy this uh, this game it's wonderful all right see you next time goodbye